Okay, this is a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, and this is a 1996 board. And being it's 24 years old, all these capacitors <clears throat> are uh, are due to be replaced. Not just these. A lot of people just re replace these. I'm talking replace them all. Every one of these things. They're all over the place. In fact, there's there's the bag of them all. You see there's quite a bit more than just <clears throat> those caps. Um, so anyway, what I, uh, what I do is uh, take off the, uh, the ring around all these connectors and uh, get those all pulled. And then you're gonna wanna pull CP18. It's right there that's going to bind up when you try to pull this board back so pull that off and then you're going to pull this board back and lift it on out of there so you can get to the back of it and start your desoldering you know i use a uh, hako desoldering gun these things are amazing a little pricey it's the uh was a fr301 but uh they make the work a cinch so before i even do that i use something like this to drain the capacitors what you do is you clip this just on a on a ground point and then you take the probe end here touch it to all the positive for several seconds then check these check these bad boys with a multimeter um, there's no reason to throw yourself across the room or worse yet stop your heart these things are charged up never trust that they're discharged so there's your safety safety factor right there and then i just uh all these caps you can see every single one of these these electrolytics um get them out of there replace them all all these here you add the silicone to it you can see silicone added and then these two resistors, these things are like bolted down to the board from the factory. They put out a ton of heat. Um, change those out, get new ones, and you can see how I've got it up above the board so that airflow can come around these things and doesn't fry the bottom of that board if it hasn't already on yours. So those are two good parts to change out. You've got one last cap right in here. And you don't need to remove the board, just take it off and you can fish that capacitor in there, that electrolytic. And after that, I take uh, deoxit. And what I do is I go down to every one of these and shoot in deoxit to all these, all these connectors. Um, a lot of people replace these, but mine were in good shape. Nothing wrong with them. They were tight on the board. And uh, after that, then I take this vintage 1968 tube tester and I check out all the tubes and we had two bad tubes. Um, they're, they're, what are they? 12 AX7 WA. So uh, Fender orig originally used uh, Sovtech. They're made in Russia and you can get these uh, on eBay or whatever. They're not that expensive. And uh, so anyway, we'll re be replacing two of those. One of them is great still. These two are great. Um, if you do get one that's bad, it's better to buy two, have a match pair. So we'll finish buttoning this up, putting all the screws back in, and uh, it'll be good for several more decades, hopefully. <laughs>